Inflation in South Africa is easing and is expected to drop back into the 3 to 6 percent target band later this year. The drought is over and the RAND has been on a strong recovery path. But all of this could change. Since Monday, the currency has been weakening, losing all of its recent gains. The president's decision to remove Finance Minister Pravin Gordon is not sitting well with investors. The RAND, now moving in the opposite direction, could upset inflation forecasts. The recent heightened domestic political uncertainty has reversed some of these exchange rate gains. And the risk of further rent weakening overshadows the inflation outlook. Ordinary South Africans have been dealing with rising food prices due to the severe drought. They were hoping for some relief from lower petrol prices and a possible rate cut this year. But this week's events could delay such moves. As a high income earner, your asset base and the income it generates are being eroded. If you've got no income, the cost of living becomes even higher. Petrol prices are a huge factor when it comes to, for instance, the unemployment, the cost of looking for work, traveling around. The RAND looks set to remain on the back foot. The cost of insuring government debt jumped to its highest level in 15 weeks. Everything is about to get more expensive and could push the Reserve Bank to hike rates. The exchange rate has a huge impact on inflation outlooks. And clearly, if the exchange rate were to continue to weaken, it raises the risk that inflation won't fall back inside the target as envisaged, and therefore the Reserve Bank would have to look at keeping interest rates at, these, at least at these levels, or potentially under worse conditions have to increase interest rates. While the Reserve Bank remains independent, this week's developments have raised concerns that this position could be weakened. There hasn't up until now been a direct threat on uh, the Reserve Bank and the role that the Reserve Bank has played. And I'm not expecting to see that this cabinet reshuffle now extends to other large institutions like the Reserve Bank. The Reserve Bank has warned that ongoing political instability will have a negative impact on inflation and overall growth in the economy. This, of course, does not bode well for job creation. But there are signs that the economy is slowly recovering. However, the latest political developments have the ability to derail efforts. If so, South Africa may not be able to escape a ratings downgrade this time around. Samitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.